Today we are talking about tracking, tracking in general and especially tracking for native ads because since iOS 14, tracking in online marketing in general is a huge topic. But of course, it's also facing a lot of problems, a lot of issues. Therefore, this video today is about nothing but tracking. Hi everyone, my name is Martin Sattler. I'm the founder of Purple Black, a native advertising only agency. So what we're doing on a daily basis is we run profitable native advertising campaigns on traffic sources like Taboola, Outbrain, Yahoo Gemini, and many, many more. And what's happening with iOS 14? So with the iOS 14 update, a lot of tracking issues or a lot of brands since then are facing tracking issues. And sooner or later, so the main problem was with Facebook especially, but this was the point where a lot of brands get familiar with tracking issues. Of course, there are always tracking issues ever since, especially when you run larger, larger campaign. You have, for example, a dashboard with some data from the traffic source, you have Google Analytics, and maybe you have a third one, and then you will see when you run larger campaigns, oh, all three, all three analyzing tools, all three analytics tools will give you different numbers. So that's nothing completely strange out there because it's very hard in online marketing to have a 100% one by one tracking. That's almost impossible. However, so this was the first real touch point since the iOS 14 update for a lot of brands, for a lot of smaller brands also who are facing issues with tracking. And unfortunately, this problem is not solved yet. So due to the restrictions of the iOS 14 update, traffic sources like Facebook and Co still have those issues. And what happens then? Then a lot of tracking or analyzing tools jumped into the market like Hyrus, Tracify, Clara and many, many more. So there are funds of different traffic or traffic analyzing sources, data analyzing tools out there. I just named three of them, but there are way, way more. And those tools are sometimes very smart, to be honest. And by the way, this video here is not a bashing or so against them. And I know many, many of you guys, especially when you run Facebook ads, are using those tools. But in this video, I want to give my perspective from a native side. So I know those tools are usually working good for Facebook traffic, but today we're talking about those tools in combination with native traffic like Taboola and Outbrain. So what happens, a lot of brands added these tools like Hyros, Tracify and Co into their analyzing dashboard. And this is okay, it's working okay for Facebook and TikTok and those kind of traffic sources. And when they start working with us, they, they, the, the brands usually tell us, hey, I already have a tracking solution, can we add this? And in general, of course, we are able to add this, but now since we have a lot of clients with those tracking tools, I can show you a bunch of details, what's working and what's working not and what's the solution here. So in general, as mentioned already, these tools are good for traffic sources like Facebook, Instagram, and that kind of stuff. But you know, native is a very niche, special kind of traffic source. And unfortunately, there is no big native traffic source. There are two big major traffic sources like Taboola and Outbrain, but there are also a ton of smaller traffic sources where those kind of tools or software or third-party apps, however you want to name it, doesn't have a direct integration. However, also there, where they have a direct integration, it's very hard to, to have a good tracking. And we tested it. So how we tested? We tested it in different ways. Um, because sometimes the results were very, very bad on those tools for native ads. And we tested therefore, for example, on different, on, on different sites. So we created just sites or just shops just for native traffic. And we also added the tracking tools and we saw that data are statistically wrong, unfortunately. So we saw, for example, then when we just have 100% native traffic, so it's very simple. You just have the spending on Taboola Outbrain, you have the sales, for example, and then you just have to divide it and see the CPA and that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, those tools gave us way worse numbers back than we saw for real. And that's a big, big problem for us because that means that these tools are not working correctly for native ads. And in general, again, this is just a general opinion about multiple products, about multiple campaigns, about different clients, different countries, different tools. So I will not name here one dedicated tool, but we saw it for 
all of these tools that are not working very precisely out there, unfortunately. So also our clients tested the same with Facebook and with Facebook, for example, it's working okay. So with Facebook, they really get good numbers because you know, they have all the KPIs from Facebook, they have all the clients which are working with Facebook traffic. So they're familiar with Facebook traffic, these third party tools, but they are not familiar also when they have integrations with Taboola or Outprint, but they are not familiar with native traffic. So long story short, when you are already running traffic like from Facebook or Instagram, and when you have a tool like Hyrus, Tracify or whatever it is, then unfortunately it will not track the native traffic precisely. So that means when this is your only dashboard, you have to find another way to see the native traffic. So it's not possible unfortunately to have everything here in one dashboard, which is a bit of a pain in the ass I know, but unfortunately that's the, that's the hard truth. So instead of that, what is working? Because I'm not a friend of just telling what's not working. I'm a friend of telling what's not working, but to find then a solution about what's working. And fortunately we find a way what's working. For example, we have a tracker, we're using different trackers, but one of our main trackers is volume. And by the way, when you run native traffic, you definitely need a tracker. It doesn't matter if it is volume, red track or something else. There are tons of trackers out there. This doesn't matter, but it's very important. It's crucial to have a tracker because the tracker will not just ensure that you're able to change lenders, switch offers without changing the campaign URL. So that means that the campaign itself doesn't have to get in review again when you upload something new or when you change something in the background. That's the first thing. And there are some other positive side effects like uh, suspicious click detection and many, many things more. So if you are interested in, I can make a separate video about tracking or trackers in general like volume. So if you're interested in, just write it in the comments below. But back to the topic. So with these trackers, we are able to track way more data. So in this case, unfortunately, just from a native perspective, but at least we saw here this data and we can optimize the campaigns very well. So not just the case, it's not just the case that we get almost every conversion back into the tracker, but we also see very precisely for which advertorials the conversions are coming in. What are the offer pages which are working the best? Um, from which kind of devices, which carrier of devices, which OS system. So we have way more deep analyzers than for example is visible for us in Tabula or Outbrain because we can also see on or we can also work better with day parting and that kind of stuff when you're using a tracker because you have way, way more analyzing possibilities than with the direct dashboards from Tabula and Outbrain for example. But unfortunately, and here's the negative side of it, you're not able to transfer this data, for example, in your third party tracking tool. So long story short, when you run a lot of budget in your campaigns, you will see sooner or later tracking differences. That's absolutely normal. And when they're in a range like a few percent, it's also okay. You will never be able to track 100% for a bigger brand, especially when you have different traffic sources. The second thing is when you run native traffic or when you want to run native traffic and you already have a third party tracking analysis tool like Hyrus or whatever, then it's not working with native traffic 100% precisely yet. I know those platforms are working on better solutions, but unfortunately now in um, beginning of 2023, there is no legit solution out there. And again, this is nothing against the tools. We, we are friends on all, almost all of their tools. And I know they're working great for different traffic sources, but unfortunately not for native yet. And last but not least, the third point here, when you want to run native traffic, for example, by yourself, you definitely have to ensure that you're using a tracker like volume um, or something similar to ensure or to squeeze out the maximum of performance here or working with an agency like us, like Purple Black, because we are providing all those tools for our clients, of course, for free. I hope you liked that video. If so, I would extremely appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and of course, when you subscribe to my channel to get notified when I upload a new video here on YouTube about native advertising. Have a good one, see you next time.